Okay, everyone, I'm not sure if I'm even going to post this. I will consider it later, but I thought I'd do a little experiment with how things are going politically with the opioid crisis and CVS deciding that they will only give out seven days worth of opioids. So I thought I'd give everyone a real life look at what life is like when we don't get our medication. Um, so it's like 5.30, I think, and I've been up for an hour and a half because I popped my knee and my foot in my sleep, and I didn't take any painkillers before I went to bed, so it's going to be a very long day, and I don't, I'll be shocked if I can actually complete a full 24 hours with my medicine without my medicine. See, I'm already doing great, um, but hey, at least this will give you a look at, at what life is like with chronic pain and trying to still function because I still have a small one to get to school today and we'll see if, how possible that is. It'll be interesting. All right, so it's been an hour. I'm standing, so that's one thing. Um, but my feet and my knees aren't holding together well, so I don't know how long this experiment's gonna last. Um, I already popped a shoulder rolling out of bed and my feet and knees are killing me and I still have to drive. So um, if you see a blue Prius, maybe get out of its way. So how's this for the I can't believe you're sick look? So first victory of the day, I did get up to the chicken coop and the girls were nice. And if there's one thing that can get me out of bed, it's this. I'm also doing this for my dad because he likes to see all this and he's heading to the hospital today. So I thought I'd also take this video to send to dad so he can see a little bit of pretty garden. Well, that's not so pretty, but it does water the chickens without me having to lug water up here. So that's the girl's coop, which by the way, my mom actually built because she rocks and she's amazing. And that is one of my favorite things. I got this plant a month ago. Yay, Annie's Annuals. It was only four inches tall. And I don't know, I think this became like monster movie, but it's sure a pretty monster movie. All right, so I can pretty much guarantee you I'm not going to finish the day and there's no way. Uh, one day I'm going to have Kiros actually follow me around while I just do simple chores, like, you know, driving someone to school and, uh, Trying to get a little grocery shopping done at Trader Joe's all of five minutes, by the way. I've got it down. <laughs> but, oh my god. Um, I couldn't put regular shoes on because my feet are swollen from popping in and out all night. And I wore my Uggs, which was stupid. PT has told me over and over again, no Uggs, no Birkenstocks are my favorite, though. Um, and popped out almost all of my left foot just walking around. So, uh, thank you um, to uh, the cart for being my uh, walker today. I really cannot say how much I appreciate carts. Um, on the appreciation note, uh, Marshall School in Castro Valley, I want to call it out by name, this is Christmas, uh, the principal, rock star, amazing. I mean, how, how often do you get a principal who calls you up and says, I've heard you've been having a hard time physically. Um, is there anything I can do to help out? Um, she even offered to walk my daughter home today if I can't get there to pick her up. I, um, I don't know how to possibly say how much I appreciate that when someone just kind of steps in unexpectedly and is like, hey, how do I help you? And hey, Trader Joe's in Castor Valley, I know I looked like absolute utter hell, um, definitely, but you don't look sick did not apply as I'm like curled over a, a, um, shopping cart. Yeah, by the way, my ribs out too and my left shoulder, which is... Uh, I don't know. I'll show it to you guys another time. It's a lot to like strip down the Trader Joe's parking lot, but hey, thrills for the suburbs. Um, but the wonderful cashier, she uh, totally understood my absolute zero ability to BS. And when I'm asked if I'm okay, if I'm in this much pain, I'm actually going to tell you, no, not okay. Not even a little bit. Um, so she was really sweet, offered me a chair, and then she came out, just left her post and came out with me to get my groceries in my car. So Today's been frustrating with pain, <laughs> so much pain, and uh, listening to NPR this morning, because um, yeah, I'm that suburban white mom, um, and listening to them talk about the evils of opioids and how opioid addiction is killing everyone, and um, not bothering to make a dividing line between 
uh, legal opioid use with um, supervision of pain clinics and doctors and opioid use um, without, which by the way, we're going to do a whole episode on <laughs> on this because I also want to make a real dividing line that as this country has gotten more psychotic in ignoring the fact that there are people in chronic constant pain and when I say pain I'm talking about like if you broke your bone right now that level of pain all the time 24 7 without their their opioids um <laughs> as this has gotten more crazy people are not able to get their prescriptions. They're not able to get their, their medicine. And, um, there's been a r whole rise in suicides of, um, people who just can't, can't live with level eight, level nine pain all the time, every day. Let me just underline this 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, constant non-ending pain. And because of the panic of um, people not making these dividing lines. Now people are having to become criminals to get their medicine. So um, yeah, I, I had to erase the last video because I was swearing too much and I want to put this up on YouTube. Um, so I'm not going to swear. <laughs> Curious. See, I can do this. I can actually talk about things I'm furious about and not swear. Um, so I'm really ticked off at NPR. At how dare you? <laughs> how dare you not make these dividing lines? You are supposed to be the ones who think things through. You're supposed to be the ones who actually ask questions. And here you are doing another scare story without bothering to make a dividing line, even between like Vicodin and, oh wow, can you tell how foggy I am? Seriously, when I'm in this much pain, I cannot come up with words. Um, but there's a definite line, fentanyl, thank you. <sighs> Poor brain. Um, without even bothering to make that division between different kinds of opioids, uh, I don't know. Um, no one, someone needs to tell me who I can get a hold of to, to yell, but it, this is so irresponsible of the media to keep harping on something that is a crisis. There is a problem, not saying there isn't, but without making these dividing lines and creating more panic and more fear and more doctors refusing to prescribe pain pills in the dosages that are needed, that are being monitored, it's unconscionable. Shame on you, NPR. But hey to all the wonderful, amazing people who have been around today who have just unexpectedly out of the woodwork, just been lovely. Thank you so much. You made a mom in agony feel a little better today. All right. It's 1030. So five hours. I'm calling it. Um, I guess I'm a wimp. <laughs> Maybe. I, that's a horrible thing to say. I'm sure. Um, so many of you deal with this and you are not as lucky as I am to have doctors who actually prescribe medication at the the dosage it needs to be. Um, so I just experienced five hours of that and I bow down. I, if you're doing this without, without the needed pain relief, um, all of my sarcasm, all of my snarkiness, that's, that's just not here right now. Um, all I am right now is just hurt. Um, it just hurts. Uh, I have a wrist dislocation, a shoulder dislocation. Um, my feet are just I don't even want to look. <laughs> I haven't. Um, and my ribs popped out. Uh, so I mean, just with that amount, you guys can probably go, Oh, I, of course you need something. But unfortunately, the way the federal government is talking and the way that the news and the media keeps portraying this, uh, that branch makes me a drug seeker, which is frustrating and makes me angry. If I was, um, if I was in less pain, I could probably get together the rage and anger. Um, I can't, so I won't. Uh, <laughs> I'd show you pictures, but they're pretty gross. Um, and I'm losing my train of thought. And, um, one of the side effects of this is I can't tell you how dark my thoughts have gotten in like the last hour. And I'm not talking like hurting myself dark, but I could definitely see where, where this could head to without some hope of relief. And I have that hope of relief right over in, in my, my bedside table. Um, it's been dark as in I just, the negative speak in my head has gotten really, you know, mean. <laughs> I've gotten very mean to myself in the last few hours on, um, what I can and can't do. Uh, so I don't, um, subject my children to this and have to pay for therapy later. See, some sarcasm does fight through the pain. Um, I'm going to call this experiment. It sucks. And, uh, 
I'm so angry. I'm even angrier after this experiment that some of you are dealing with this without the proper help and compassion. Um, it's cruel and it's, it's not right that you would have to go through this. Um, it's not right that I actually have an out and I can take it. Um, all of you should be able to do this as well. So, um, write your congressperson, call them, text them, uh, start calling NPR and um, when news sources and um, when they make a news story that doesn't reference a pain management specialist, um, write their editors and give them the names of some pain management specialists who will talk on their next next thing. If you have the energy and God knows, I'm sorry, we're like the most vulnerable population because we need the most and we have the least amount of energy and focus to be able to fight. Um, I try. <laughs> I hope you'll try with me, um, but be gentle with yourself if you can't. And uh, this experiment's at an end. I hope I can do a much more fun episode for you all later on the YouTube channel. And certainly please check out our podcast, um, Invisible Not Broken. And uh, yeah, until I talk to you all next time, uh, be kind. Be really kind. The kind people today just made a really awful day so much better. So be kind, be gentle, and be a fucking badass. You know you already are.